G'day guys, Benji here from Benji's Best Bets and sorry I didn't do a video yesterday but technical issues, got no internet, bit of an issue, still don't have any internet using my um, actual phone internet so this is probably going to take all fucking day to upload but we'll see how things go but we have to talk about yesterday. What the hell happened? Nine data from James Wade, which was fantastic, and then losing the match, which was disappointing to me, but these things happen. And then I've probably seen one of the best games I've ever seen on the World Championship stage with Michael Van Gogh and Joe Cullen. Whoa, whoa, what the hell was that? That was one of the best games I've ever seen. Sorry guys, my camera's being weird. And I will tell you, that was probably up there with uh, Barney v. T v Taylor. It was huge. Big averages, not as big as what uh, um, Michael Van Gogh has been producing in the first two rounds. Still 100 plus. Joe Cullen, what do you have? 17, 18, 180s in a seven set match? And then losing in a, in a, sub, like in a last leg decider? Whoo! Damn, damn. Before I get into my um, predictions for the for the rest of the um, last 16, I have to talk about uh, my little bet that I have with um, DarsPlant.tv. Disappointed, my friend. You stopped putting your predictions out there. I do say you probably would have won, but right now it's about me trying to get my money, um, get my bets up to a sufficient standard at like get, getting my wins up to a sufficient standard. We're actually at around 65 euros right now. We started at 100. Last night I had a few fun bets on 180s. That's where I'm standing, 65. That is with two 10 euro bets. So we have two up in one of my um, multis. We got two, uh, four, four game multis. Um, I'm already two up with the Michael Van Gerwen match and with the Christoph Rutowski, which I still haven't spoken about, which was another last leg decider. That was crazy. Christoph Rutowski, I did pick because he beat my man um, Simon Whitlock, but I do think uh, watching the match, he should have lost. Um, well, it was a game of two halves. He should have won. And then he should have lost, and then he should have won, and then he should have lost, and then he eventually won. Mental, mental game. Anyways, um, just going on through with that one, two up, happy days. Hopefully today's matches will be a lot easier for me, especially with the last two legs that I've picked. And let's go through those now. So as, as you've already heard, I've got um, those two that have already won, Michael Van Gogh and Christoph Rutowski. If you want to debate me on if I'm actually being serious, look, only person I'm cheating is myself. I hit, I need these to come through, and uh, this is what I've got so far. So, MVG, I've gone through, I'm just going through the whole, um, all of the matches. Uh, Dave Chisnell versus Dimitri Vandenberg. I have Dimitri to get through in that one. It's gonna be a hard, all the matches are pretty tough to be honest. Um, Devin Peterson to get through uh, against Gary Anderson. That's gonna be another tough match, especially with Gary Anderson with all of his um, experience. But I have to I have to be honest. I gotta be honest guys. I'm not very, um, I'm not very pleased with the way Gary Anderson is conducting himself. And he's been doing this over the last few months, actually. Whinge and win. He won, and yet he's complaining about uh, tactics or people yelling and all that. Mervyn King's doing the same thing, and I hope Mervyn King gets a, gets a bit of a hiding today, which I have in one of my last legs of these, uh, these rounds that are going on. Um, yeah, it's just, just get on with it. If you win, don't... It, let those players do it. You know what? It's good for TV, and I wouldn't be surprised if Barry Hearn is in the ears of these guys saying, give it the big one, it's good for television, especially with no crowd. 
Tell me in the um, in the comments below. Am I right? Is it? I love seeing. Um, uh, I love seeing, especially girl and price. Give it the big one. It's good. Like Michael Van Gogh. Oh, it's good for television. It's good for the fans. And these guys that think that it should be out of the game need to grow up and realize that they need to get with the times. And if they don't want to get with the times then they shouldn't be complaining about those that are making a name for themselves. Talking about that, we, we're going into our next end. And if he's going to complain uh, complain about a slow play, he won't have anything to complain about. I wonder if he has something to complain about, about giving the big one. Because Devin Peterson, he will give it the big one if he's playing well. And I'd like to see him play well. Talking about giving the big one, Dirk Van Dijvenboda, I have him to beat Glenn Durrance. Um, that is another one of, that's part of my uh, full way to get through uh, with him and, and Gerwin Price. They're the two iffy ones. Dirk Van Dijvenboda and uh, Gerwin Price to beat Mervyn King. Um, they're the ones to win in my first multi. And then going through again, like them going through the rest of the matches, we have um, Gabriel Clemens, Christopher Talsky. We know Christopher already won. Um, Stephen Bunting versus Ryan Searle. I got Ryan Searle to get through on this one. Also, tight contest. Steve, the right Stephen Bunting turns up on the day. That's going to be a very tough match. On form, you have to say that it's going to be Ryan Searle. Then we have... Uh, Gerwin Price, who I've already talked about against Mervyn King, Gerwin Price to win that one. And Vincent Vandervoort versus Daryl Gurney. I've got Daryl Gurney to get through on that one. One last thing. So I've got two, okay, not one last thing, two last things. I've got two 10 euro multis. Both of those going to be over, well over the uh, 40 euros, which will get me back over the 100 euro mark, which is where I started at the beginning of play, which is where we want to be. Um, another thing, my all my bets that I made while I was in Poland, if you watch that video, none of them worked out. It was bloody horrible. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, disaster actually, disaster. One leg here, three legs here. It was like, I, I lost a lot, uh, but the thing was, I did it on the Polish market and I had a few free, I had, um, all of them were free bets. So essentially I lost nothing. So when I go back to Poland, cause I can't get my money out unless I have a, um, uh, a hidden IP in Poland. When I go back there, I'll collect my money and I didn't lose anything. Luckily for me that I didn't do it on three, six, bet three, six, five, which is my chosen betting agency. I'm not getting paid to say this, by the way. Um, I just wanted, I, I thought it was quite interesting. Looking at the last 16, it is the most diverse, I have to fact check me on this, but it is the most diverse um, uh, last 16 ever. We have three from the Netherlands, six from England, no surprise, but England usually has a high representation, but usually it's quite higher. And then you have one from Germany, one from Poland, one from Northern Ireland, one from Belgium, one from South Africa, one Scot Scotsman and one Welshman. I like it. I'm sad to see there's no Australian there, no Australian in the last 16, but it is good to see how the PDC have really made the World Championships a world game and getting these stars from all around the world. The, and, and they're making themselves stars in their own right. So I just thought it was uh, quite interesting to point that out. So I will be doing another video, obviously going to be more bets once we get down to the quarterfinals. Looking forward to today's matches. Hopefully this doesn't take long to upload. And guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Benny G from Benny's Best Bets.